Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how to use the cursor effects feature on Camtasia Studio. So, what is the cursor effects? It's basically when you use your mouse, you can make it larger for people, and this is especially helpful when you're doing tutorial videos and when you're explaining stuff on screen. If you have your mouse larger or if it's highlighted, people can follow what you're doing really easily. So I don't do it on all of my videos, I do it on some of them. Um, and I'm going to show you how you guys can use this feature. So I've got a previous tutorial that I've recorded on Camtasia using the, the screen record. And I'm going to add some cursor effects on it just as a test. So when you click this button, you might see this. Select a cam rec recording on the timeline to enable cursor effects. What that means is you need to select the Camtasia CamRec file. Right now I have the audio file that's uh, highlighted. They want the actual video file where you used your mouse. Also another thing to note is you can't do the cursor effects on other videos. So if you've got like a GoPro, GoPro footage or some other type of non-CamRec um, files that you're using, you can't add cursor effects, it can only do it when you are recording through Camtasia through their screen record. Alright, so let us test it out right now. I've selected the CamRec file and you want to add some features on it. So right now this is what my mouse looks like. As you can see, if I put my mouse over this one, it's the exact duplicate. Well, one thing you want to do is make it larger. Now you guys can do this however you want. Let's just over exaggerate this. Let's make it really huge. You guys can do whatever you want. Uh, these are just some of the features that I use when I'm using the cursor effects. And you can also add a highlight effect. So there's this highlight where it does like a yellow circle or you can do a spotlight where it makes everything dark and this portion light or you can magnify it so wherever it is hovering over that part will be magnified. I personally do the highlight because I like the yellow because it's easy for people to spot. And I want to add a left click noise and a right click noise. So once you've chosen your features, we've made it larger, we've added a highlight, and we've added the sounds you click add animation to wherever you want to add it to starting from in your video so I want to start it here relatively in the beginning you click add animation and then you're gonna see here it added in this thing called cursor animations and it shows you uh, when it started on your timeline and what's going on with it so let's click around and see what it did so so as you can see, it's already pretty huge on the actual screen, and that's a funny video of me. Let's just move me to the side right now. I don't know what I'm doing there. <laughs> Alright, so let's play some other parts. Okay. Back from there. And we'll do the zoom and pan feature on this clip. So I've just imported a clip, and I'm going to place it into the timeline here. It's a short clip. Alright, so as you can see, it's pretty huge and you can see it very clearly. And that type of thing is really helpful when you're doing tutorial videos and when you're clicking around all on the screen. It just makes it easier for your viewer. Alright guys, well that's how you use cursor effects on Camtasia Studio. Uh, let me know if this video was helpful. If it was, please let me know by giving us a like, a comment, subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. If you like these videos and you want to see more of Camtasia or want to use Go the GoPro editing software, click in the description below because we have more playlists. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.